From a horrifying bot fly that leaves lava in your flesh to a deadly house centipede invading North America, here are 10 of the most freakish and dangerous bugs. Number 10. The Giant Water Bug The Giant Water Bug is one of the biggest, fiercest, and most startlingly dangerous bugs on the planet, known for hunting turtles, snakes, and even small ducks. The Giant Water Bug is able to grow up to about 4 inches long. It's been nicknamed the Toe Biter because it has a tendency for biting people's feet and delivering an extremely painful injury, and there are about 150 species of them located all throughout the world. The bite isn't necessarily lethal, but it has been reported to be excruciatingly painful. And considering the giant water bug is found commonly through the Americas, this is one insect that you actually have a high likelihood of meeting. These bugs don't only live in the water, they also live on land and can fly around thanks to their gigantic wings. One of the more disturbing character traits of the giant water bug is that they play dead. These monsters have been caught pretending to be dead before suddenly springing to life and attacking humans with their incredibly sharp beak. And as if the bug weren't scary enough already, the female giant water bug sometimes lays her eggs on the back of her male partner, turning the male water bug into a walking nightmare with what appear to be pimples growing out of its back. But of course, these are just the egg sacs that it carries around with it until the young are ready to hatch. Number 9. The Cow Killer The Cow Killer is one of the most fearsome insects in the world. It's known properly as the Eastern Velvet Ant, even though it's not an ant in any way, shape or form. It's just that the female looks a lot like an ant. The cow killer, as it's commonly known, is in fact a type of wasp, and the female, which doesn't have any wings by the way, has a ferocious sting that some claim is powerful enough to kill a cow. You can probably figure out by now where the insect gets its name. In the case of humans, the sting from a cow killer is not enough to cause any serious damage, but it can be very painful. Cow killer wasps are quite a bit different from other wasps. First of all, they look strange. They are red and black and look velvety, unlike yellow and black normal wasps. The cow killer is also a solitary insect, more often seen buzzing around alone than inside of a nest with other wasps. And to make this insect even more frightening, it's a parasitic species to bumblebees. A female cow killer will lay her eggs inside of a bumblebee hive, and when the eggs hatch, the wasp's offspring will eat the bee larvae. It's an absolutely savage evolutionary trait, but one that has worked for the cow killer wasps so far. And if you're worried about running into some of these pesky bugs, you should be. They can be found all throughout fields, meadows, gardens, forests, and pretty much anywhere in North America. Have you ever been stung or bitten by a dangerous bug? Maybe some hornets or wasps? Tell me about it in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to Epic Wildlife for more intense videos. Number 8. Human Botfly The human botfly is the scariest bug on the planet. Botflies are gross, they're covered in hair, they're so big they look like bumblebees, and they have a frightening tendency to infect a human host. This is something known as myiasis, where the larvae of a botfly get transferred into human flesh through a fly bite or a mosquito bite. And be prepared for some fear, because this is the fourth most common travel skin disease reported, according to Women's Health magazine. It might not be seen very frequently in the United States, but it is a super common affliction in Latin American countries. And if you happen to be taking a trip to somewhere like Belize or Guatemala, you could end up returning home with some unwanted visitors burrowed inside of your skin. And that's dangerous for a whole heap of reasons. Once botfly eggs are inside of your body, the heat of your skin causes them to hatch. This can last from between 27 to 128 days, and the whole time you probably won't even know you're infected. You'll only see small pimples discharging a pretty gross fluid. These pimples are actually holes in your skin, so that the baby botflies can breathe. And even though botfly larvae don't really transmit diseases, it is still pretty gross. Some patients have reported feeling larvae moving underneath their skin. The only way to get rid of them is surgery. To rip your own flesh open and pull out what are essentially maggots growing inside of your body, or to cover up the wound with something like petroleum jelly to suffocate the botfly larvae, though then you have dead flies rotting beneath your flesh. Whichever way you look at it, botflies are horrifying. Number 7. House Centipedes There is an invasion going on in Canada that is scary enough to make people want to move. It's an invasion of house centipedes, incredibly dangerous and disgusting insects that can often be seen hanging around in Canadian homes, specifically inside the bathroom sink or in the drain of the shower. These centipedes are not only ugly, 
but they can also deliver a bite that is even more painful than a bee sting. And as if getting bitten wasn't enough, the house centipede can administer venom using its legs. The venom isn't enough to cause a fatal reaction, but if you have a couple of these centipedes crawling across your feet, you're going to have redness and swelling for days. But believe it or not, just having these centipedes in your house can be a nightmare, even if you don't get bit. This is because house centipedes are known for emitting a rank odour, and they can make an entire room stink. But don't worry, because since house centipedes are nocturnal, you'll probably only find them at night. Either that, or they'll find you. Number 6. Sydney Funnel Web Spider The Sydney Funnel Web Spider can kill you. When talking legitimately dangerous bugs, the funnel web spider is definitely at the top of the list. These critters live in Australia, and they are feared by pretty much everyone. However, an interesting fact is that only male spiders have ever killed somebody with their bite. One of the reasons for this is that between November and April, male spiders will wander around at night trying to find a female inside of her burrow. They basically stalk the streets of Sydney looking for women's homes to break into. This results in the male spiders getting lost in suburban gardens and the occasional house. And of course, once this spider is in your house, it's only a matter of time until you have an accidental meeting with it. The venom from the Sydney funnel web spider is extremely toxic and attacks the nervous system of a human, meaning that a single bite can send you into shock and ultimately kill you. But of course, as long as you get to the hospital in time, you will probably be okay. The anti-venom was developed in 1981 and absolutely no deaths have occurred since it was introduced in Australia, seeing as it's always available at the major city hospitals and the regional hospitals. But even with the anti-venom, you can expect a significant amount of pain and a whole lot of discomfort. Number 5. Deer Ticks Deer ticks are very small bugs with a very large history of spreading disease. The connection between deer ticks and Lyme disease has turned these tiny monstrosities into some of the most hated bugs in the United States. And here is why they're so dangerous. Even though a deer tick is not born with Lyme disease, nor does a deer tick ever carry Lyme disease, they can absorb a certain bacterium into their system when they feed on an animal that is infected with said bacterium. The bacterium enters into the tick's gut and then travels into its salivary glands. Then, when a diseased tick bites a human, it injects them with the bacterium. This bacterium turns into Lyme disease inside a human host, and this is where all the danger starts. But there is some good news and some bad news when it comes to deer ticks and Lyme disease. When a tick first attaches to a human host, it generally takes up to two days for enough bacteria to transfer to get a person sick. However, ticks are sometimes undetectable for weeks. For example, a single mouse can have up to 100 deer ticks living in its fur. Just imagine how many you could have crawling around on your hairy legs or on your scalp. Number 4. Saddleback Caterpillars Saddleback caterpillars are some of the coolest looking insects ever. It's not clear how they got their amazing colour patterns, but at first glance, every saddleback caterpillar looks as though it's wearing some kind of sports jersey. But beyond the colourful exterior is a seriously dangerous bug that you need to look out for. The sting from this ordinary little caterpillar is strong enough to knock a grown person to the ground. This is dangerous because most people don't seem to understand how dangerous caterpillars are. Everyone is scared of bees and hornets, but nobody worries about the cute and cuddly caterpillars. But guess what? All you need to do is pick up the saddleback caterpillar to receive its sting. You don't even have to annoy it. Just touch it and the spines that stick out of its body will inject you with some pretty miserable pain. A rash will break out wherever the caterpillar's spines make contact with your skin, and the burning sensation can last for up to two days. In fact, the sting and the main poison are so intense that you may experience nausea for nearly half a day. Of course, the best way to avoid this unpleasant scenario is to not touch any caterpillars that you may find in your garden. Number 3. The Tarantula Hawk The Tarantula Hawk is not a bird. It's not a tarantula either. It's a type of wasp with a sting that can make the toughest person cry. Some have described the pain of the tarantula hawk sting as being shocked with electricity. When the wasp stings a person, all they have to do is lay on the ground and start screaming. Now, the tarantula hawk grows to about 4 inches in length, making it absolutely enormous for a wasp. There are about 133 known specimens of them distributed throughout the Western Hemisphere. The tarantula hawk got its name for one very simple reason. It hunts tarantulas. It also hunts tarantulas far larger than itself. It's not every day that you see an insect so dangerous that spiders literally flee like cowards at the sight of it. 
And yet, tarantula hawks truly are monsters. Even though they get their nutrition from nectar, they will battle spiders as a way to provide food for their babies. The female tarantula hawk will stab a spider multiple times and inject it with her venom, keeping the spider alive but completely paralyzed. The wasp then drags the spider into her own nest and lays an egg inside of the spider's body. Later on, the baby wasp hatches and eats the spider from the inside out. But in order to be this kind of apex predator, you better have a powerful sting. And the tarantula hawk does. According to the Natural History Museum, the tarantula hawk has the second most painful sting in the entire world, beaten only by the legendary bullet ant. It probably won't kill you, but you'll definitely wish you were dead. Number 2. The Death Stalker The Death Stalker scorpion is considered by some to be the deadliest scorpion in the entire world. This little bug is filled with painful venom that can cause a person to become paralyzed and in great pain. The Death Stalker typically uses its potent venom for hunting ordinary bugs like crickets, but if you happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, you could find yourself in some hot water. This is because the Death Stalker scorpion hides underneath rocks most of its life, waiting for crickets and other small bugs to get near it. If you happen to put your hand down in front of the Death Stalker scorpion, it will probably sting you and fill you with venom. After being stung by a Death Stalker, you will have a whole lot of neurotoxins flowing through your body. You could go into an anaphylactic shock, your muscles could contract and cause a seizure, and if you don't receive immediate medical attention, there is the possibility that you'll die painfully while screaming. The only good news is that these types of scorpions are found typically in the deserts of Africa, India and Central Asia, where most people don't dare to travel. Number 1. Fire Ants One of the most common pests in the state of Louisiana is the fire ant. These bugs are smart, they live in massive colonies, they can be found in just about anyone's lawn, and if you're not careful, they could eat you alive. When 13-year-old Patrick Dodson was doing yard work at home on a Sunday afternoon, he found himself covered in hundreds of ants after a bag of mulch ripped open and the ants were sprinkled all over his body. According to Fox News, the ants began biting Patrick immediately. However, it wasn't until about 10 minutes later after he had run inside of his house that he began to feel something wasn't right. Patrick ended up having his entire face flush, his lips and nose swelled up, and eventually he passed out. An ambulance had to be called to get the boy to the emergency room, as the venom from the fire ants shut his body down. Doctors working at the Baton Rouge General Medical Center had to give the boy intravenous fluids to flush the venom out of his system, and it was a struggle to keep the boy alive as his blood pressure continued to drop. Even more alarming is that Patrick's heart stopped beating two times while he was at the hospital. In the end, Patrick was very lucky to survive the night at the hospital, with all the fire ant venom coursing through his veins. But he did make a full recovery. The moral of the story here is that fire ants are extremely dangerous. Which of these bugs frightens you the most? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and come back soon for another awesome video.